Hi. Welcome. <laughs> you are new here. We always cover just weird ass topics. It can be anything. It might be space and it might be interdimensional things or ghosts or conspiracy theories. It can be literally everything. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Today's video, we're going to talk about shadow people. So shadow people are kind of like these shadowy figures. I would have a thunderstorm in the middle of my video. I don't know if y'all could hear the thunder, but if y'all hear weird stuff in the background, that's what it is. Shadow people are just kind of like these tall, dark, nebulous figures that you see. They're not even necessarily tall per se, they're just average person height. And they typically, no facial expressions, no features at all actually. Not even eyes, nose, mouth, nothing. They're just a shadow. Most of us have probably experienced this phenomenon. It's something that you see out the corner of your eye. You look over there and it's gone. Sometimes you'll be watching TV and you'll see something peep out behind a door frame. That is your typical shadow person experience. Now some people experience shadow people where they appear full figure directly in front of them and they get the living hell scared out of them. Now, there are plenty of theories as to what actual shadow people are. Some people think that shadow people are fragments of ghosts, kind of like an echo, but they're not really a fully formed conscious being. They're just kind of energies that linger around. There might be a range and a spectrum as to how aware a shadow person is and there might be a spectrum to how intelligent a shadow being is. Another type of shadow person experience that is linked to sleep paralysis. And basically, sleep paralysis is where you have these sleep cycles. So you have your deep sleep trough, and then you have more of like an awake alert where you can roll around in bed and stuff. When you're in a deep sleep trough, your body releases this hormone to keep you from acting out on a nightmare and hurting yourself. And everybody experiences that paralysis. If you don't experience that, it's a medical condition all of its own. So it's perfectly normal to experience paralysis during sleep. Now, most sleep paralysis cases happen near the end of that trough. That also happens to be your, your longest state of deep sleep. So a dream can wake you up, a noise, a movement. It's happened to me personally where I took a nap. And for me, I think my arm fell off the bed when I went limp. That woke me up. It was terrifying. I never want to experience it again. So yeah, the shadow person experience linked to sleep paralysis. People see a whole different ballgame of shadow person. You'll be looking around the room and you'll see a figure in the corner. Some people, a lot of people actually see it with piercing red eyes and a hat. This is how the shadow person is often described. So, picture this scenario. You're asleep, you wake up, you cannot move. You look to the corner of the room only to see a man standing in the corner, often described like this. Even if your room is pitch black, it's often said that this man is darker than the dark. The only thing you can see are those piercing red eyes staring right back at you. The shadow man moves closer and closer to you, slowly building anxiety until eventually he is either sitting on top of your chest suffocating you, or if you're lucky, you wake up. So yeah, there is literally so many theories about shadow people and the phenomenon behind it. But I can say this, shadow people is not a new phenomenon been around for centuries. It's probably been around since man has been around. It's been around forever. It shows up in a lot of art, a lot of literature. It's just, so when you hear about shadow people, it's not like it's this new wave phenomenon that's all of a sudden gaining popularity, kind of like the Slender Man video that I made. Shadow people is ancient and it goes back a long ways and has a long history. And as with all things paranormal, I guess, you're never gonna get a clear cut answer to what it is. And unless you've experienced it, it's, it's hard to actually explain. Because I myself, I experience shadow people all the time just in my day to day life. And 
I can't necessarily apply the scientific theory to every single experience that I've had. I try, but I still can't explain away everything. And that's what keeps me fascinated in the unknown. And to be perfectly honest, like, I feel like the world needs a little mystery. It's a really boring and kind of shitty life if there's no mystery left in the world. That's a big part of why I'm kind of talking and making this channel into what it is, is because I am genuinely starving for mystery. I, it's just a big part of who I am. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say about shadow people, really. I mean, they're pretty clear cut, simple things. So, we're coming into my favorite time of year, which is Halloween, duh. On Halloween day, I'm probably gonna upload a video. I'm, I usually do something really epic for Halloween. I never really uploaded it to my channel before. I have uploaded one last year, but it wasn't like, I didn't go out with the intention of like making it for YouTube. I'm really actually enjoying this new journey that I'm on. I might actually go back to blogging again in the future, so watch out for that. If I do, it's going to be a different day of the week, but I do look forward to uploading something for you for Halloween. I mean, how could I ignore that? <sighs> so anyway, stay weird. Bye.